can start the recording so everyone can hear it. Okay, let me continue with the solution. There was a problem with the solution, as one of you guys mentioned correctly, that we should also be careful about the uh, deleted one. Uh, let me again bring the slide. Okay, so the next thing we should be careful about, as we, uh, one of you also mentioned, is about the deleted uh, state. So we have the inserted ones and we may have deleted ones. How to detect them? As we mentioned also in the lectures, the deleted ones are the ones which are in the conserved regions. So how do I detect them? Whenever you have a gap inside the conserved regions, we call them uh, deleted states. So in the first conserved regions, let me activate the pen again. So which ones were my conserved regions? This position, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So do I have any uh, gaps inside this conserved region? This is okay. This one is okay. I don't have any gaps. This one is okay. This one is okay. This one I have a gap. Yes, I have a deleted state that we should consider, but this one, we don't have it. So I should consider this one from M4 to M5. So let's go through the HMM to consider this one. So this one shouldn't be one anymore because in some cases I may have deleted one. So, for here, I create a state, D1. And instead of going M5, I go directly to M6 whenever I have deleted states. Yes. So, for the deleted ones, instead of considering these, I go directly from M4 to M6. In how many cases do I have such a case? And in how many cases I have the conserved region? That's the question that you can ask. And the probabilities after that is pretty easy. As soon as you understand for one of them, the output has the same probability. So in one over five cases, I have this deleted state for 80% uh, I didn't have. So what's the probabilities that I should put here? Now here I have 20%. I go to the deleted ones. And again, for the output, I should put the same. This is a probability distribution for these two. So it means that one is not correct here and it's not correct here. That's why here I should have 80%. So here this one should be 80%. And again, for this one, change it to 80%. Now, I think our HMM is completed and oh, with no problem, this is okay now. So as I said, it's very important to uh, check your HMM again and again, uh, at least once, because if you do it uh, once more, for sure, you can find your errors. And uh, you also make sure that you don't have any problem with these probability distributions. This is also a good way to detect your errors. But if you double check it, for sure, uh, you minimize your errors and it won't be no problem. It seems fine now. If uh, there's a problem, if you think there's a problem with any part of it, please again let me know. Otherwise, it may look fine. And if you have any questions, please let me know.